Welcome to Hydraulic Press channel. Today we have the 3D printed part design competition. So our viewers have designed some parts and then I printed them out. And today we are going to test which is the strongest shape of the stuff that our viewers sent. And I couldn't print everything that was sent to us, it was too much. But we have four parts that are following our strict rules and then we have some other stuff and I have time lapse for all the printed parts and we are going to show those and go through the part why it's maybe strong or weak and then we are going to crush them on top of the force sensor to find out how much of force it can take and the winner gets HPC merch. Yeah, I think we are going to start with this one. Okay, first part and I think that the Parts that follow the rules, they are going to take about one ton and my wife says two tons, but let's find out. Okay, so here is the first 3D print video and as you can see, this is pretty complicated from inside. This is not the uh, 3D printer software's infill, but the whole design is made by our viewer. And all prints are done with a 0.15 millimeter layer height and same speed everything, so completely fair. And again the same stuff as last time, I declare when it's over. Oh, that was weak. Because it's broken already. Yeah, I would say that it was about 200 kilos when it went. So, I think this is not going to win. Yeah, it was really complicated, but not very strong. And... Yeah, you can see here how it's break. That there is like, a lot of like, fiber kind of structure. So... Yeah, then the next one. Okay, and then the next part, and I think this is going to be at least twice as strong. Okay, and this time we are printing two parts at the same time. So this part is the uh, part behind the anotter. And the guy who sent it said that it's inspired by bone structure. So I think it looks kind of bone. And then on the front, it's a bit more simple de design, but the same same settings, same height, same weight. And it's interesting to see how you can make much smaller or much wider part with the same amount of plastic. Hey, that was cool! How much was it? 1.6! And it's super nice how it's breaking. Let's continue. Okay, let's stop here, it's going to escape. Hey, I think this was really good design, because these round things, they transferred the load, and the middle thing prevented it from like flexing to its sides. So this was really good. There is surprisingly amount of differences here, because it's like 200 kilos and then 1.6 tons. Okay, and then the next one. Okay, and then this one. And I think this has also a pretty good chance of breaking the one ton, one ton limit. That's strong! How much was it? Three tons! Yeah, let's not crush more, because now we can... Now we can see how it's failing. Yeah, it just collapsed from the middle. But this was super strong, 
and the guy who sent this said that he wants to maximize the wideness of the thing so it doesn't fall down and also the surface area here so I think this is really good combination of like large diameter and lot of surface area here so this is on the lead okay and then the next one and this was really complicated from inside it has really interesting structure and the last one was really simple so let's see which one is better okay and as you can see this is really complicated it started off with some squirrely thing and now there is like many parts inside of each another it's like layered structure so it's really interesting to see <laughs> will any of this help at all Okay, the uh, way that this broke was the most interesting, but the result wasn't the most interesting. But not totally bad either, it's like pretty good. But the winner is this, the simple but good design by far. And the winner is going to get some HPC merch, but you can also get it. There is link in description to merch store if you want to get some hoodies or t-shirts. And then we are going to move to uh, not following the rules part. Okay, and then the next category. These are not 100 millimeters tall and they are completely solid plastic. So they should be much stronger. And I think winner of this category is going to get also a bit smaller merch packet. And these are not the same height, they are all the same way. It's not so like uh, even on this round, but it's, I make the rules. It doesn't <laughs> have to be. Life isn't fair. And here we go. That's really strong. Okay, now it's broken. It was almost 10 tons. That's crazy. Almost then. Hey, that was much harder than the basic shapes that we printed on the last 3D video. So that was really good design. And as you can see, there is the same failure mechanism as we got with the regular cylinder and also the brass cylinder. So that's the weakness of the cylinder parts. Okay, and then the swirly thing. This doesn't have any hollow things on the middle, so it's a bit more basic. But let's see how strong it is. It's harder to say when it's broken. I would say that it's already broken. Yes, it is. It's not broken, it's just like smaller. <laughs> I think we are going to cross it more. Yeah, now it's slightly broken, but I think the swirly shape added to the strength because it didn't like, it didn't buckle on the sideways, but it was also a little bit uh, not so tall than the previous part. So I think I have to still keep, give this to the, the first part, the like the strongest part. Because this was already a little bit squished down at the tendon mark. Yeah, but we have still two parts on this category. Okay, and then we have the many corner shape. I don't remember the name of this, and I if I would and if I would remember, I couldn't say it because it's so hard. 
So, it doesn't matter. That's not super strong. I think it was about five tons. And the end result is pretty typical. Green pancake, slightly hot. Okay, and then the last part of this category. And this is a bit similar than the first one since there is hole in the middle. And I think this has some chances of winning. I think it's, yeah, it's already broken. So it didn't win. Okay, and then the last one. This was submitted by like at least five different people. Egg shape. And to make it like really act as an like egg, it has to be hollow. So this is completely hollow, no infill, no supports or anything. And it weighs 100 grams, it's a bit taller than the competition parts. And I think it's not going to win, so I made it a little bit bigger just for fun. And let's have a look how strong it is. Mm, not very strong. Yeah, I think it took only like 100 kilos to break it. But huge thanks to everybody who sent parts for the competition. I think we are going to have more of these. And I'm going to make new, much better rules. And on this time, we are going to compete on bridge design. Yeah, but the rules are on description. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. And for today's extra content, we have this angry alien dude. He's trying to take over the whole world, so we must deal with it. <laughs> <laughs>